The demonstrations in Iran began as an emotional outpour over the death of Masa Amini, a young woman held by the country's morality police. She was detained by authorities for allegedly violating its strictly enforced dress code. The police claimed that she died of a heart attack and was not mistreated. On the contrary, independent experts affiliated with the UN said on Thursday that reports indicate she was severely beaten by the Iranian morality police without offering evidence. Protesters then took to Instagram and WhatsApp to share information about the government's rolling crackdown on scent on Thursday. Authorities also appear to disrupt internet access to the outside world, which is a tactic that rights activists say has often been employed in times of unrest. In a country where radio and television stations already are state-controlled and journalists regularly face threats of arrest, the paramilitary Revolutionary Guard urged the judiciary on Thursday to prosecute anyone who, fakes, who spreads fake news and rumors on social media about the unrest. The protests have grown over the last four days into an open challenge to the government with women removing and burning their state-mandated headscarves in the streets and Iranians setting trash bins ablaze, along with calling for the downfall of the Islamic Republic. An anchor on Iran's state television suggested the death toll from the mass protests could be as high as 17 on Thursday, however, did not elaborate further. از افراد حاضر در صحنه این رویدادها و ماموران پلیس جان خود را از دست دادند آمار رسمی را مسئولان مربوطه